First off, you want to install Java. Type in java.com and it will lead you right to this website or click the link down below. Once here, make sure you download the recommended version for your computer. After you figure out which is the recommended version for your computer, it's different for each computer and their brands, you want to make sure you download it. You will be prompted to allow it as administrator. Click accept and you're all set. Next you will be installing Java, actually installing it. Click accept on the terms and watch it load. Once you've downloaded Java, it's time to download Forge. In your search bar, look up Minecraft Forge. The first link, or whatever has files.minecraft. Now that you've arrived at the website, make sure you pick out whatever version of Forge you'd like. I decided to go with 1.16.5 because it's the latest version of Minecraft but you can go with 1.10.2. Once you've figured out your version, press Download Recommended. Once you're on this page, do not click anything or the ad in the middle, please do not. These are random ads and they do this to get their money. Press Skip after the five seconds has gone. I personally skip to another page just so I don't click on anything else. To install Forge, make sure you double click or just click it and this should show up. What you want to do is install client. Press OK and it'll load and download. It won't go as fast because I sped this up time purposes. So if you could get stuck at a number, just wait until it's completely done. The website I use is CurseForge. CurseForge has tons of different mods. I find so many, just so many, like even too many mods. It's insane how many mods are on this website. So once you find a mod from any website, YouTube, be careful with the YouTube ones though. Once you find a mod, click it. I did just enough. I Find the right version for the Forge you downloaded. I did 1.16.5, so that's the version I'm going to be looking for. Wait your five seconds, and everything will be all right. Press keep, there's nothing wrong with the mods, it just says that. And you're all set. Find your mods folder, make sure you press the search icon, then type in app data or percent app data. Percent. Once you click the folder, make sure you find Minecraft, then go and see if you have a mods folder. Place your mods there. On the launcher, sometimes your version of Minecraft that you've installed will be there, but we're going to make sure you know how to do it if it's not. You want to make sure you go to New Installation and find the version of Forge that you've downloaded, and give it a sweet name too. Once you've done that, it's time to get in game. Change your version that you're currently on to the version you've made. Then press start.
It's time to test your mod. Wait for it to load. And whatever mod you've checked or downloaded, make sure that it's there and that you have every single version or dependencies that it needs. I did just enough items, so once I go into creative, it's all there. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to subscribe down below. Love you. Bye.